What up? What is up, people of the internet? It is your boy Spoke to the Plug here back with another video. And today, I have a very special surprise for you guys because I'm bringing back Do You Remember? Okay, if you guys aren't familiar with what Do You Remember is, Do You Remember is a series I started years ago on the channel where I bring up an old cartoon that probably doesn't air anymore and we talk about it and we ask a simple question Do You Remember? Today's episode is a bit of a weird one, guys. Uh, we're on episode 6, and uh, we've talked about a handful of, sh of shows. Uh, we've talked about The Mighty B, we've talked about Shock Zone, we've talked about uh, El Tigre, uh, The Adventures of Manny Rivera, uh, and now for today's episode, I'm bringing you guys Mr. Meaty. Uh, so well, let's get into it, man. Uh, Mr. Meaty aired on Nickelodeon. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, uh, it was a puppet sitcom kind of uh, show uh, made by the duo of Jamie Shannon and Jason Hopley, who uh, they also created a, a what was the show called? Uh, Nanalon. It was another puppet show, uh, and, it, and it was also pretty weird, kind of like how this one is. Uh, the series evolved around Josh uh, Redgrove and Parker Dinkelman, who uh, are the two main chefs or the two main workers at Mr. Meaty. Um, these two teenage friends. You know they work there and it's located in like this mall this fictional uh mall so like a food court in the mall run by well, i wouldn't say run by with the two teenage workers uh and they get into all kind of antics and uh, uh over the course of the show's run uh, uh we're also introduced to characters like doug who was a security guard uh, lizzie an alien uh, edward uh, who was like a frozen like the frozen founder of mr meaty if you guys remember that uh, and even like the manager uh, of uh, Mr. Meaty, who we rarely see. Uh, but it began its life as a series of three minute shorts, which aired on Nickelodeon between like 2002 and 2005. Uh, and arguably, the most uh, interesting short, I should say, uh, was one called, I believe it was called Crispy Hand, uh, where they invite a girl in the back and her hand falls into the deep fryer. Uh, and it burns to a crisp and one of the workers says don't worry about it and he sticks his own hand in I think I might have that footage actually playing in the background I don't know how I'm gonna do this but uh, I tried to refrain from watching the footage as I'm doing it because it kind of messes me up as well uh, just this show is all kinds of weird uh, but uh, Nickelodeon eventually ordered a series of full length episodes based on the shorts in 2005 with a pilot comprised of reused material from the shorts airing in December of that year. Mr. Media officially premiered its first season on Nickelodeon in 2006 with 10 episodes airing on the network from September to December. In March of 2007, the show was moved to Nickelodeon's sister channel, Nicktoons, or Shows Go to Die, uh, which aired season one's remaining two episodes. Nicktoons went on to air all eight episodes of Mr. Meaty's second and final season, which ran from December of 2008 to May of 2009. Uh, the full-length series certainly didn't tone things down, featuring such memorable episodes as The Fries That Bind, in which Parker gets in a fight with Josh and takes a new job as a soy-based restaurant across the food court only to discover his employees are actually a cult that plan to sacrifice and eat him, as well as Wedge Lore, where Josh's plans to bulk up takes a turn when he accidentally unleashes Wedgie Obsessed Demon in the mall. And lest we forget Schnazola, where Josh and Parker accidentally burn off their friend's noses and replace it with a sausage. Quite possibly the most notorious episode of the entire series, however, is Mooch Master P, otherwise known as the tapeworm episode. When looking up discussion regarding Mr. Meaty Online, you will no doubt find numerous recollections of the episode in which Parker ingests a raw burger and gives himself a hideously creepy and absurdly large tapeworm that proceeds to run amok around the mall, eating everything in sight. Josh eventually gets the tapeworm out of Parker with a fishing rod and sells it to an Australian zookeeper who proceeds to ingest it himself. Wow, just saying that was tough. <laughs> uh, for the reason as to why Mr. Meaty was allowed to be so peculiar, it is important to know that the show wasn't really intended for children, or at least not younger kids. Rather, while the Surrealist Puppet Show aired as a part of Nickelodeon's main lineup, it was designed to appeal to teenagers, with uh, executive producer Jack Lenz comparing it to Mike Judge's Beavis and Butthead. 
Additionally, uh, like I said before, while Mr. Meaty took things to a whole new level, Nickelodeon was no stranger to surrealist humor beforehand, with co-creator Hopley specifically naming Ren and Stimpy as one of the show's inspirations. As far as other influences, Hopley also says his time working at the movie theater concession stand was a source of story ideas. Mr. Meaty was a lot of things. It was hilarious, gross, creative, and terrifying all at the same time. But if it but if its cult status has taught us anything, it's that above all, it was memorable. So to end it off there, I gotta ask you guys, do you remember Mr. Meaty? I gotta say, I do. Right? But I also don't. If that makes any sense to you guys. Like, I didn't remember Mr. Meaty until a friend brought it up to me. Uh, and he said, do you, do you remember Mr. Meaty? And I said, no, I have no idea what you're talking about. You know, that's one of those underground cartoons that had like six episodes or something. And then he showed me the image of, of, of Josh and uh, uh, Parker. And I thought, dude, I do remember that show. But like it, the show felt more of like a fever dream, you know? So it was like, I do say I remember the show in that regard. I can't, like a lot of the other shows I uh, talk about on Do You Remember? I can't really say like a specific episode uh, that I can be like... Oh yeah, this is like, but it's definitely memorable in the sense that like, I did this episode because I did remember. But the show itself really felt like a fever dream to me. I mean, like 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 I just said, like it, it's bizarre and it's crazy and it's uh, funny and it's grotesque and like everything in between and all these things. Like even the show's theme song is a doozy. The theme song is like all God's creatures, fresh off the grill. You know, come on down to Mr. Meaty's. It's like you start. You're, that's a bold move. Starting your show off with that, you know. I've covered a lot of. Cha I've covered a lot of cartoons, uh, in shows on this uh, series or in this series, and none of them come close to Mr. Meaty. So I gave my answer. But like I said to you guys, do you remember Mr. Meaty? Let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what you thought of this video, and also recommend me what episodes or sorry, what shows you like to see me talk about in the future. And do you remember? I have a bunch in mind, and I can't wait to get them out to you guys. Excited to bring this series back. Hopefully you guys love this video. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And until my next video, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.